Yes, yes, people, I know what you are thinking. The game's only just come out. We've still got hundreds of legendaries to chase. We ain't even got to end game yet, and we're already making videos about DLC. Well, guys, the news is legit. I have information today in regards to the future of Outriders, and it's looking great. How's it going, guys? My name's DPJ, and if you enjoyed the video, leaving a like really helps out. And if you like what you see and want to see more Outriders on a daily basis, be sure to subscribe. So, Outriders right now is a pretty popular game, and it's kind of taking the world by storm, for many, many reasons, in fact. But the main one being that this is the next loot shooter, in a long line of loot shooters that's gone off to a good start. Yes, there's been teething issues with servers, but in terms of the way the game plays, feels, the end game chase, the replayability and so much more, it is keeping those haters quiet. I mean, the problem was, we have had so many loot shooters drop since Destiny. Destiny is no doubt the number one loot shooter in the world, in my opinion. How many games have tried to knock it off its throne and succeeded? Absolutely none. Will Outriders succeed? I wouldn't say so, but what it is, is another amazing loot shooter which you can also play and enjoy. It is as simple as that. Now originally, I believe People Can Fly did state on a Twitter post, I think it was a, a q and A. I'm sure they said that the future of the game would depend on how it's received at release. And with over 2 million people downloading and playing the demo alone, it got off to a great start. And then with it coming to Xbox Game Pass and being free to all subscribers of that, there's no doubt the release of the game has been successful. And I'm pretty certain the few server issues we've seen so far are due to the amount of players that are trying to jump on. But right now it is still early days. I mean, I myself am about halfway through the campaign, haven't obtained any of the new legendaries outside of the demo, and there's still a ton for me to chase in terms of that end game, the expeditions, the Eye of the Storm, and so much more. So yes, it is still really early days. But is it too early to talk about the future? I'd say no. Now, thanks to an article recently shared by Forbes, which I'll link down below, which does actually go into a few of the backstory details of this game. It is with the creative director, Berta Kamito, I believe that's pronounced, as well as the game's lead designer, who's got a name I wouldn't even begin to know how to pronounce. But within this Forbes article, like I said, which is linked down below if you want to check it all out, Forbes asked some very, very interesting questions and got some seriously interesting answers. The main one here for me is what this video is about, the future of Outriders. So People Can Fly were asked, you've repeatedly said that Outriders is not meant to be a live service game and it is complete at launch, but what would the threshold be for you to consider future content, missions, guns, classes and such? Does not live service rule out meaningful expansion or can things like DLC still be in the cards? People Can Fly said, we never said that we would abandon the game. This isn't a game as a service, but if people like it, we would definitely be doing more things in the Outriders universe. We have so many more stories to tell and a lot of ideas we want to explore that we couldn't fit into the original game. So we're happy to create more content in the future. Anything we would make would be in the form of a significant expansions with self-contained stories. So my question to you guys is, do you want DLC? Do you want that future content? Because I know I do, and I'm pretty certain you guys do too. Now, when it comes to future content, besides the untold stories, there's so much more they could do with this game. More expeditions, more weapons, more armors, a brand new class, and maybe even additional levels. Which, back to the Forbes article, they were also asked this question. Will there be Borderlands style level cap raises in the future for additional skill points for a broader spectrum of builds? People can fly responded with, we are still deciding on things like this, so we'll have to wait and see. But I'm pretty certain guys, level cap raises and things like this will be added if content and DLC is made, which I truly believe it will be. The game's off to a great start. It has millions of players, millions of people really enjoying it. It hasn't failed like many, 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 many people thought it would. So people can fly if you're watching this video. If any of us get around to watching this video, I speak for the people. I speak for the community. We want that 
DLC. But yes guys, tell me your thoughts on this down below within that video description. Like I said, I know it's still early days, the game's not long come out, but knowing that there's future content after we have completed what we have now would be something amazing to know about. Just to know that content is coming will be incredible. But let me know your thoughts on this down below within that comment section. Let me know what kind of things you want to see within future DLCs. And I hope you enjoyed the video. Now, if you did leave in a like, it really helps out. If you're new around here and want to see more Outriders on a daily basis, be sure to subscribe. If you want to stay up to date with all my videos and live streams, make sure you turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by. And hopefully I will see you on that next one.